the alchemical hydra is a slayer boss which requires 95 slayer to be assigned as a task. You need to be on a slayer task to be able to kill it and the only slayer master which can give it as an assignment at the moment is Konar. The most efficient way to kill the boss is to use range. The best weapon is twisted bow. If you don't have a twisted bow, blowpipe or the dragon hunter crossbow are both viable but I would generally recommend the blowpipe over the crossbow. For the rest of the gear you should use an imbued slayer helmet and your best offensive range gear. You need boots of stone at this boss, however if you have completed the elite current diary the boots are no longer needed. For the inventory you want to teleport to get out after the trip is done an antidote or sunfish serum in case you get poisoned and the rest of the inventory can be filled with range potions, prayer restoring potions and food. If you haven't killed the boss before, I would recommend taking a ratio of 1 to 6 for range pots, super restores and serum and brews. But once you get more experienced, you shouldn't need much food at all. Experienced players may also want to bring high alchemy runes to be able to stay longer at the boss. Radas Blessing 4 can be used to teleport to the entrance of the dungeon for people who have completed the elite current diary. Bandos Gad Sword can also be considered for a special attacks instead of Blowpipe as it splits up the kill slightly, but most people will probably prefer the Blowpipe special attack instead. The boss is located in Mount Kaloum on the northwest part of Sea in the dungeon near the Slayer Master which assigns the task. The quickest way there is to teleport it to Radas Blessing 4 or with the fairy ring code CIR if you don't have the blessing. Once inside the dungeon, the boss is located to the northeast. There are a few mechanics you need to know about to kill this boss. During the majority of the fight, the Hydra will switch between range and mage for every 3 attacks of respective style. So after 3 range attacks you want to play mage, and after 3 mage attacks you want to play range. Both attacks look rather similar, but you can notice the difference if you pay attention to the projectile or the sound. The prayer blocks all the damage, so you will know if you are doing it right. The boss has 4 different phases. At the start of the fight, the boss will take 75% reduced damage, but once lured to the red vent, that damage reduction will go away until the next phase. You will notice a message in your chat box saying that the Hydra's defense has been neutralized. While it is green, it can spit out poison pools, which you can simply dodge. At 75% hit points, it will turn blue and has to be lured on top of the green vent. While it is blue, it can spawn 4 blue lightnings. To minimize the damage from them, simply stand in the northwest corner of the room so you only get hit by one of them. At 50% hit points, it turns into red and has to be lured on top of the blue vent. While it is red, it can spawn a line of fire which will rapidly follow you. The fire can be dodged by constantly moving. Finally, at 25% hit points, it will turn black but does not have to be lured on the vent this time. While it is black, it will switch attack style after one attack instead of three, so you will have to constantly change your prayers. It can also spit out poison just like in the first phase. During this phase, it has a max hit of 52, so make sure your hit points isn't too low. And that is all you need to know to be able to get your first kill. If you die at this boss, your items can be reclaimed outside the boss room for a fee of 100k. You will really need to bring a new pair of boots of stone to be able to reclaim your items, so don't forget those. And now for the tips and tricks. At the start of every subsequent kill, you want to stand in the southeast corner so the Hydra instantly walks on top of the vent when it spawns. Alternatively, you can also run out of the instance to respawn the boss quicker, but this will despawn any items in the room as it is an instance. This is only worthwhile if you are quick and have empty inventory spaces for drops though. The first attack of the kill it uses is random, but its mage attack has a higher hit chance than its rage attack, so start by playing mage. You can predict when Hydra will use its special attacks. The rotation is 3 regular attacks followed by a special attack, followed by 9 regular attacks, and then it repeats with a special attack again. Its new phase restarts the rotation. If you lure the boss to the wrong vent, or simply lure it to the next vent too quickly before the Hydra changes color, it will gain offensive power. However, its defensive powers seems to be unaffected, so it can be a good idea to lure it onto the next vent too quickly to speed up the kill if you plan on playing perfectly against its attacks anyway. Each time it gets hit by the beam with the wrong color, it gets a 6.25% higher max hit, but this is capped at 50%. 
it's also worth noting that the double attack it uses on the green and blue faces only have half the max hit compared to the single attack it uses on the blue, red and black faces. During the black phase it will always gain the 50% power and learning it on top of the vents seems to not really change anything. The best way to dodge the poison pools during the green phase seems to be to stand northeast of the boss and run towards the next vent as the boss starts spitting them out. Alternatively, if you don't have the best setup and don't start the blue phase too quickly, you can also run through the Hydra which is another good way to easily dodge the poison. The best way to dodge the blue lightnings on the blue phase seems to be to first lure the Hydra on top of the blue vent early. Then stand in the northwest corner in the exact same spot as I am in the video. When the lightning gets close, go one step southeast and then instantly one step north to make the lightning stuck under you. This does not despawn the lightning however, so if you move away, the lightning will start chasing you again. This technique requires tick perfect timing, but you don't take much damage if you fail. When the red phase starts, the lightning under you will disappear and you no longer have to worry about it. At the start of the red phase, it is smart to go to the southwest corner so the Hydra moves next to the wall. This means it will have to spend a couple of extra seconds getting to the middle when it starts doing the flame attack. You can attack while being chased by the flame attack, and doing so with a twisted bow isn't too hard. It can also be done with a blowpipe by simply moving one tile between every attack. If done correctly, you should take no damage from the fire. The first attack on the last phase can be predicted, and is always the opposite of the last attack on the red phase. So if the last attack was a mage attack, the first attack will be a ranged attack, and vice versa. And to finish off, just like any other boss, the Twisted Bow will hit it one game tick earlier if you stand within two tiles of the boss when it dies. And that is everything you need to know to become an expert at Chemical Hydra Slayer. With the best setup, you can expect to get about 25 kills per hour. That means 33k Slayer, 132k range and 44k hit points XP per hour. If you don't have a Twisted Bow and Dragon Arrows, and instead use Blowpipe with Adamant Starts, you can expect about 2 kills less per hour. With a big thanks to the Clan Oblivion and some of my friends, we have compiled a drop log of over 10,000 chemical Hydra kills already. This allows us to estimate the drop rates and calculate how much you can expect to profit from the boss. Supplies used per hour with Twisted Bow and Dragon Arrows seems to be about 400 to 500k. With the Hydra Claw valued at 80 mil, Brimstone Ring valued at 11.4 mil, and Hydra Leather valued at 16 mil, you can expect each scale to be worth 243k GP on average. You will most likely not bank the bones, however, so you are probably more likely to loot 236k GP per kill. At 25 kills per hour, that is almost 6 mil GP loot per hour, which would be about 5.5 mil GP profit per hour. Keep in mind that at the time of making this video, the content is still new and prices of new items are likely to fluctuate a lot. But even without the unique items, you can still expect to profit over 2 million GP per hour from the regular loot. Anyway, that is everything. I hope you found my guide useful. Good luck and happy Hydra hunting!